Hey, church family, this is a pastor. I had the opportunity uh, uh, this week to spend a little time with one of the most precious members we have in our church, Dorothy Lowe. And so I, uh, uh, I want to introduce you to her, let her share a little bit of her story, and let you get to know Dorothy today. Dorothy, uh, how old are you or how young are you? I'm 81. 81 years old. Well, you, uh, you shared with me uh, in my office a little bit about your growing up and uh, the fact that you grew up pretty much in foster homes. Share, share a little bit about that. Well, my mother died when I was four years old. My dad remarried trying to make a home for us, and that didn't work out. Uh, then the only job he could find during the Depression was traveling on to take cattle overseas. And he paid for our care at the orphanage. And it was so neat when he took us in the car to leave us at the orphanage. He says, I'm taking you to visit some of your relatives. You know, we're all brothers and sisters in the Lord. And, and so we didn't cry or anything. We didn't know that it was going to be a long time or anything. We just knew we was going to see some relatives. That was always fun. Anyway, so we went to the orphanage, and, and it, was, they were a, it was a nice orphanage. They weren't cruel or anything. They were really nice people. That's so neat. they wanted to know a lot about, you know, what did you remember about the orphanage? And I said, having to take castor oil every Saturday morning. <laughs> And now, they said, they, we don't do that anymore. Now, they, did they feed you castor oil because you were sick, or no, they just felt like no, you needed it? Just they just <laughs> did it automatically every Saturday. Well, and we, we'd hide under the bed and everything, you know, to try to keep from having to take it. One time I managed to pull myself up to the springs, and when they looked under the bed, they didn't find me. Dorothy, I don't think God's going to hold that against you. Um, now, I know you stayed there for a long time. You said you had uh, a, a number of experiences with different foster families and stuff, but were never adopted. H how many foster families were you, were you 15 with? Fifteen homes. Fifteen different homes, just going from one to the next to the next. Well, sometimes I'd go back to the orphanage for a short while and then go to another one. Well, how, how did you... Did you maintain a positive attitude? Did you go up and down? Did you just say, hey, this is part of, uh, part of life? How'd you deal I with that? I just accepted it. 